Hello class, this is section 3.6 and we are going to work through a practical resonance example. So we have a mechanical oscillating system and the mass is 1, the friction constant is 2, and the spring constant is 26. We also have an external force, and external force is of the form 82 cosine omega t. And we want to calculate the frequency, the external frequency that will cause a practical resonance in the system. So remember that practical resonance is simply where the amplitude is maximized. So this is our amplitude formula. And we want to maximize this quantity. So let's just plug in all our values. So C omega is actually equal. F naught is 82. That's the external force. K is 26. M is 1. So we just have 26 minus omega squared squared plus c is 2 omega squared, so this is going to be plus 4 omega squared. So the way that, now let me just clarify this a bit. We want to maximize a function c of omega. The most direct way to do it would be to take the derivative and set it to 0, and that's indeed the way that the book does it. But I, I don't like that method, and I feel that it's a lot easier to do it this way. So maximizing the C is the same thing as minimizing the denominator. So you want to minimize this polynomial, 26 minus omega squared squared plus 4 omega squared. So let's call this polynomial P omega. And working, differentiating this, is, differentiating this polynomial is a lot easier than differentiating C over here. So let's just do that. So we can expand this out to get omega 4 minus 52 omega squared, or is a plus 4 omega squared, and we have a 26 squared here, and let's worry about that later. So we have this, and this is going to be equal to omega 4 minus 48 omega squared plus this 26 squared. Right, and let's make another substitution here. So maximizing p omega, and clearly it's easier if we have to worry about, if we, if we don't have to worry about the squares here. So let's substitute in z equals omega squared. So we need to maximize pz instead, which is equal to z squared minus 48z plus 26 squared. For this we just take the derivative 2z minus 48 and this derivative is equal to 0 when z equals 24. So we have a local extrema, we have an extrema here. And this is going to be a maximum. You can check by checking the second derivative. So p double prime of C is just going to be 2, which is positive, so this is going to be a minima, which we want. So we have indeed that C equals 24, omega squared equals 24, omega equals the root of 24, and this will be our practical resonance. There. And what happens is that this is the omega, which will minimize the denominator and maximize the amplitude. 